Hey, this is David Dirks, and I'm going to show you how to get a PS4 controller set up with your uh, Raspberry Pi in this video. Um, so we'll need three packages first, a DS4 driver, uh, Python, and also Pi Game. So I'll show you how to install those, and also how to set up your uh, controller. So let's get started. Um, so first, I'd, let's go to uh, get Python installed, and so that's sudo apt get install python3. And that will take a little bit, but I already have it, so yeah, it's good. Uh, next, we can install sudo pip, um, let's see, install ds4 driver, which is uh, how you connect your uh, controller first. And I already have this as well, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, it's good. Uh, and then lastly, um, let's install uh, I guess Pi game. So sudo apt get install Python Pi game. And I already have this as well. But this is what you'll need. Um, and you may need to install Blue Z, uh, the Bluetooth controller module. But uh, I'm not, I already have it. So I don't have to worry about that. But it just depends on if your system calls for it or if you have it, already have it installed. Alright, so now that we have these installed, um, we can just type in sudo ds4 driver and uh, this will launch the connecting status for the device. And so to connect to your uh, PS4 controller, I have one here. Uh, you hold your uh, share button and your PlayStation button for a few seconds until your LED lights start blinking like that. And then it should, you can see, it's going to connect in a second. And it found it and then it will give some status reports right now until um, until you disconnect the controller so we are good with that and now that you have Pi game installed we can start that part of it if you go to the Pi game uh, website just search Pi game joystick you can find uh, some just how to use some of the functions but if you go down to the bottom I'd copy this code right here and then put it into a Python file. So um, let's open Python 3. And this is a Raspberry Pi first generation, so it's it's pretty slow. So um, it takes longer. I am excited for Raspberry Pi 3, which is way faster. So I should be able to get one of those soon. And also has Bluetooth already on it. So that would be really nice for this project. All right, here we are. Uh, let's open up a new file. And paste our code that we copied. Um, we'll run, a, run it and it'll ask us to save. And we'll just go desktop. Let's hope it runs now. It's still connected over the terminal. Um, and it should pop up with a, it kind of does a game um, module. Here it's restarted. And it shows us all the different connections on the Raspberry Pi. So here's all the different values. You can see the controller right here. Uh, when I press uh, the X button, it triggers that button one value. Uh, I can go through and press different ones. Triggers, do it. all the buttons are mapped, even the uh, touchpad up here. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work is the touchpad. I can't control it, but the DS4 driver does allow you to connect it in certain ways, but I haven't figured out how to get that for other applications. Uh, you can see the, there's an accelerometer in here that the access values over here are connected to and also your joysticks are connected as well um, so that's this is really nice for button mapping and you can go into the code and edit it and this allows you to when say an X or triangle button is triggered it allows you to do certain events and so I took this code and modified it um, to be able to use it in my own programs so this is still connected I can exit out of this one and this is my uh, I'll open up my modified um, 
code. Make sure it's canceled out. Um, anytime to cancel either the terminal or this, make sure you do control C. So let's run this now. Uh, this has, I've commented out a lot of the code, like the game uh, engine front end, and it just uh, triggers on the terminal every time I press a button. It tells me that it's done that, but also I've also implemented my motors to run off of it. Um, so it's restarting, and there's always this, usually this error that has to do with the GPIO uh, module, but it's not a big, big deal. So let's run it. Um, so you can hear my motors running, and the triangle button is saying it's pressed, uh, X pressed, just all my different buttons when they're pressed. R2 trigger, R1, L1, L1 there, L2 here. Uh, I still need to map these out correctly, but uh, it works in the other software. And then also joysticks, I haven't mapped to the terminal yet, but it was working. Uh, PlayStation button, share button, and then also the options button. So everything's working, and it's uh, really easy to get going once you figure this part out. So thanks for watching. I'd be happy to answer any questions I can help you with. Um, but yeah, so enjoy this, um, and also have fun playing with your Raspberry Pi. Thanks.